Hey guys, it's Mike and I have another quick visual on how you can hopefully tell the difference between a left outer join and an inner join. So here we have our customers and our orders. And in this particular model that I've set up, our primary key would be our color. So the blue orders belong to the blue customers. And so if I selected all from orders, then I would get this. If I selected all where the customer ID was blue, then that would be my results, right? And if I said where the customer ID is blue or the customer ID was yellow, this would be my result table. And when I start to do a join so I can get both properties, if I select all the customers and I join them to the orders table and I join them on their color key, then what happens is I will get a row with my blue guy, I will get a row with my black guy, but I'll also get another row with my black guy again with his order, and then I will also get another black guy. Oh no, I won't get another black guy, that's it. The red's the one with three. I'll get a red guy and actually I'll get three, right? Because there's three red orders. So I'll get three red customers, even though there was only one. But when you do your join, it, it does double your results. So that's something to keep in mind. And then I will get one with my yellow order. And so this would be the result. And you can see when I do just a regular join, an inner join, that these two guys drop out. And the reason they drop out is because they had no orders that join up to them. And so when you do a left outer join, you would get this exact same result here, but when you're doing a left outer join, these guys join up into the data set, but their orders are null. And so they aren't paired with anything, they're paired with a null order. Now if you did the opposite, if you said, hey, let me do a left outer join with my orders onto my customers, it's going to grab all of our orders and bring them down, and it's going to go match them up with all of our customers. And these guys didn't have an order to be matched up to, and because it was a left outer join, if, if when we put orders first, if we do select all from orders left outer join with customers, in that case, these guys are still going to be dropped out because they didn't have an order calling them. If we had another order, I don't know, let's put paste this in here and say that this one was something we don't even have, some crazy order that didn't have a customer for whatever reason. If we did a left outer join with our orders, this one would come in and the customer would be null. But these guys would still be dropped out. And if we did a full outer join, then we'd have our random crazy order and we would get our random customers in here and these guys would still all be doubled up but we would get all of our data but these guys would have null values for the orders and this guy would have null values for his customers and everyone else would be paired up and joined and so this is hopefully a better visual representation of what's going on when you're doing your left and your full and your inner joins um, the right join is the exact same as the left join. It's just the syntax is switched. So if you're if you listed If you selected all from orders and you did a right outer join with your customers What you would really be saying is hey, I want all of my customers. So these guys would come in this would go out on a right outer join and that would be your results. It'd be the exact same thing as if you did a left outer join from customers to orders, if you do a right outer join from orders to customers. So think that over, listen to me say it a few times, watch the picture, but hopefully these diagrams help show it a little bit and we can always take some more questions and I'm happy to answer. So let me know what you're getting stuck with with the joins and I'll give it another stab. Thanks guys.